experiments with babies where um, they put them in certain cribs and then certain babies weren't touched or cuddled and those babies actually severely suffered. So I'm, my question is, is, is touch actually a human need even as an adult? It's not so much the touch that's the need, but the love that's the need. And the way that we, we experience love is through touch. So the issue is really that these babies felt unloved unless they were touched. And so often we grow up with the same emotion ourselves. In our own childhood, many of us have not been touched, but been told that we're loved. So we grow up with this terrible feeling inside of ourselves that unless we're touched, we're not loved. And so we look constantly looking for touch. Obviously what we need to do is release the emotion, feel, you know, grieve about not being touched in our childhood. Then you will actually feel a lot more within yourself, like you're secure within yourself and loved, particularly by God. And when you feel that, you won't even feel a need to be touched. Does that make sense? So every single need that we have within us, in the end, will be removed from us and in the end everything will become desire and not need. Do you see the difference between need? I've brought this up before, but can you see the difference between need and desire? Need is when I have this, oh, I've got to do, I've got to have that, I've got to have that. If I don't have that, I'm just going to die. That's need, right? Desire is feeling completely harmonious with love within yourself. Feeling like I'm going to go for that, I really like that and having this beautiful feeling of love towards that instead of this terrible feeling of I'm lacking something in myself. So every single lack within yourself is based on an emotional injury, including every single lack regarding touch and sexuality and so forth. So the key is allow yourself to confront them.